if you have the perfect rack and the string that best suits you, you just need to adjust the tension to get the best combination. Let's see how to do it. To choose the tension that best suits your string, we have to take several points into account. When we play at high altitude, the ball is more alive. It bounces more and is thrown faster. We could say that it's more like a jumper. On the other hand, when we play lower, closer to the sea level, the ball is slower. It bounces less and gives a feeling of being heavier. It has less pressure than at high altitude. So we have to take this into account. My advice is that at higher altitude, we have to raise the string tension and we have to lower it if we're playing closer to the sea level. So if I play on a chord that is more like 2000 meters over the sea, I will increase the tension about a kilogram since the ball will be faster and I will need more control than usual. But if I used to play at 2000 meters and I go to play at sea level, maybe you can keep your tension. Depending on the type of the string, at some tension, some will release more than others. Going to the most basic, a monofilament will always be harder than a multifilament. That is why if we seek control, we will increase tension. But you must rise it much more if you are using a multifilament more than if you are using just a mono, since they are much more elastic. In addition, the mono weights much more, so the initial of the racket will increase. So a mono will help you to increase the control because it will be heavier and less elastic. So have that in mind and try not to use a mono more than 27 kilograms because that will be so much. Both temperature and humidity must be taken into account. Regarding the humidity, we have to know that the more humidity, the ball will weight more, especially if we are closer to the sea. If the ball is heavier, we will control it much more, so maybe we will have to lower our string tension. And like this, we will keep a balance between the speed of the ball and control. If the humidity is very low, you should not worry too much, since the ball will have its weight. How should we take temperature into account? Temperature increases the air inside the ball, the air pressure inside the ball. So at a higher temperature, the ball will be more alive and it will be more difficult to control. We will have the feeling that the ball is lighter. My advice here will be to turn up the string just a little bit. Like this, if the ball is faster, you will need more control. So you will look for a higher string tension. And also at a lower temperature, the ball will be heavier and softer, so you will need more power, so you will lower the string tension. Did you know that the gauge of the string influences the elasticity? It can even affect the color of the string. So a string that is 1.2 or 1.25 will be more elastic than those that are 1.3, 1.35. So the same string, but with a different good will not be as flexible. So take that in mind and look especially for those under 1.3. Why? When we're playing, the string will lose more or less 30% of the tension. So if you use a thicker string, you will break it before it loses a lot of tension. It's very important to know if your racket is rigid or flexible. If your racket is flexible, you will need lower tensions because the ball will stay on the frame. So on the other hand, if your racket is rigid, you will need to seek for more control. So for that, you have to higher your string tension. With a stiff racket, you have to also be aware of the weight of the racket. Because it's not the same racket that is 260 kilograms, that that one that is more than 300. The more weight that the racket has, the more control. It's very difficult to recommend a tension for you. So 
I offer you my help to help you to reach that perfect combination between your racket and your string with the tension. So leave here a comment, tell me which racket do you have, which string and how do you like to play. So I will give you my opinion and we will try to get that perfect combination. Thanks a lot.